another piece of breaking news uh, that's coming in from Karnataka. Uh, now we have word that two suspected terrorists have been arrested from Shivamoga in Karnataka. A third suspect is still set to be absconding. The police suspect that the accused were in touch with ISIS. They have uh, been booked under UAPA. Uh, let me try and see if we can go across to Harish Padhyay. Uh, my colleague Harish, what more details uh, do you have? I mean, what are these people accused of doing? Uh, what is it that the uh, police is telling you uh, both on and off record as to what is the alleged role of these three individuals and what their connections are uh, with a dreaded organization like ISIS? Well, uh, what we believe uh, and what the police sources are telling us is that uh, at least one of them, that is Yasin, who is a mechanical engineer, uh, was also had been given uh, bomb training, bomb making training, which means that this wasn't a very uh, small project of radicalizing youngsters. It had gone beyond that. This man had been given training for making bombs, and uh, perhaps he was attempting to pass on that knowledge to others. Is what the police are suspecting. That's when he's come under the radar. And uh, at least two of these uh, suspects were earlier arrested uh, in December 2020 for allegedly writing uh, Lashkar-e Taiba Zindabad. Uh, in Court Road in Mangaluru. So they were under the scanner front 2020. And uh, the fact that these uh, two arrested have been picked up from uh, Shumuga and uh, Mangaluru, uh, two crucially, uh, very communally sensitive areas, also makes uh, police wonder on whether uh, ISIS and other organizations are looking at these two communally sensitive districts as a fertile ground for radicalization and recruitment right. of these youngsters for their project. Okay, we'll leave it at that. Uh, Harish Badhya, many thanks for joining us.